function of this video is mainly an educational value, meaning that I'm going to syntax a personal email that I've received a while back that was very hostile and threatening. And it came from a contingent of the correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar crowd that is associated with the group that calls themselves the quantum community. Now, if you know anything about these crowds, you will know who I'm talking about. That quantum community is actually a revenuing of a club that had a certain colored thumb that I guess no longer exists. They just revenued themselves into quantum community. This person, the author of the email, is actually a senior member of the Correct Sentence Structure Communication Parsing Syntax Grammar crowd because I remember seeing his name when I first began studying early in 2017. And I actually reached out and tried to contact him, but uh, wasn't very receptive uh, to my request for Kuliana. In any case, I have found over the past year or so, actually the past three years, that the tone of this email is pretty much the tone that the people in this group take with others who do not toe the line or who do not bow down uh, to a certain ideology or belief system. It's almost cult-like, uh, if I may say like discipleship and followership and like a, a, a fervent loyalty, a rabid loyalty to a leader type of thing. And uh, a lot of these uh, people who have contacted me in such a manner, in such a um, ferocious and vitriolic manner, they seem to think that they can speak for this leader. I don't know if the leader gives them consent. Most times I've seen that um, this leader pretty much distances themselves from these people, yet still endorses them for some reason. In any case, this email shares a very common tone and flavor as other emails I've gotten. I have all of these emails on file from the beginning. Um, from 2017 on... Um, I've, these people have tried to communicate with me, tried to board my vessel, tried to bully me, tried to think that they had some kind of authorization over me, which they didn't and don't and won't. <laughs> because I know what autonomy is and I know where authority comes from. And it definitely comes from, one of the places it comes from is correct knowledge. And if it's in correct sentence structure, then it must be correct. One must have closure on the grammar. So as far as any claims of authorization having to do with documents, document contract postal vessel venues, well, I'd like to see the correct sentence structure document contract postal vessel venue court with the correct contract because I've yet to see that for any authorizations. In any case, I'm going to move forward. I know I've said that twice, I think. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, one more thing. I'm planning on doing, I think it's either going to be a live feed on YouTube or I'm going to post up a confidential link to a confidential Zoom room and I'm going to hold like a 30 or 40 minute meeting with anyone who wants to come on. Whatever the capacity of the Zoom room is, I don't know. I don't pay for Zoom. I, I, I just use it as a, the public thing that they have for anybody to join on. And uh, I'll answer any questions that anyone has about this video having to do with the grammar and having to do with some of the things I just said. That's what I'm, I want to do. And uh, I'll post that link up with a time and date location. And you just click on the link, take you over there, and you can ask me anything you want. The terms and conditions for the video meet room, though, however, are this. You must use your correct name when you log on and your video must be on and your audio must be on. If you don't meet those three criteria, you will not be admitted into the Zoom room. And once in the Zoom room, if you do meet those three criteria, if you use foul language, if you become upset, aggravated, 
or you're there to troll, you'll also be jettisoned. It's not a problem. It's no sweat off my back. I enjoy uh, doing that. I enjoy clearing the air. So, onto the syntax portion. I will leave an original screenshot of, I'm sorry, I'll leave a screenshot of the original email so you can see the name on there. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name because I, I don't want to mispronounce it. And then uh, we'll go on to the syntax portion. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep in mind that most of this video was recorded in January of 2021. This particular part I'm going to be going over, I'm recording in July of 2022. And the reason is, is because number one, there were some copyright issues with some of the music that I used in the original video. Also, some of the syntax was incorrect based upon the closures that I've gotten since January of 2021. And I've actually posted a couple public broadcasts explaining um, the procedure that I use to determine whether a word is tangible contract or non-tangible contract. And uh, you can check that out in the syntax playlist of this YouTube channel. So as it stands, I'm going to go over this email with fresh eyes. Uh, remember, this was from back in January of 2021. It's a very small sampling of some of the other hostile emails that I've gotten from individuals like this. Notice, of course, that it's in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, and it's in quotations. So whatever this individual, and again, I'm not going to say his name because, or if, if it's a girl, it could be a girl. I don't know um, for sure. But whatever they're saying, they don't want to say it in correct sentence structure. They want to use a fictitious conveyance of grammar to say this to me purposely. When I give them many opportunities to use correct sentence structure, which they ignored either because they don't have that knowledge or some other more perhaps sinister reason. So we have okay, which is a pronoun. Then we have adverb it's modifying quite into an adjective, which is coloring clear into a pronoun. What is an adverb modifying your into a verb. Now, there was a question that popped up from a viewer. They were confused on how, you know, what the difference between a verb or a pronoun would be. And really it has to do with, with what verb comes before it. A pronoun can stand by itself. So any word by itself on a piece of paper, a singular word, symbol, hieroglyph, whatever, basically a pronoun. If a word is preceded by a tangible contract word, the tangible contract word is going to be an adjective. And then the following word, whether it's tangible or non-tangible, is going to be a pronoun. If you have a non-tangible contract word followed by another non-tangible contract word or a tangible contract word, the non-tangible contract word will be an adverb and that will modify the tangible or non-tangible contract word following it into a verb. So it has precisely to do with whether the word is by itself and what the word is preceded by. And that's the closure on that. And you can get more closure on that in the syntax playlist. So again, we have what, which is an adverb modifying your into a verb. We have up, which is an adverb modifying to into a future tense dangling participle verb. I is adverb tried is verb in past tense. Who is an adverb modifying R into a verb. You is 
an adverb modifying working into an adjective, which is coloring for, into a pronoun. So, okay, it's quite clear what you were up to. I tried. Oh, commendable effort there, buddy. Who are you working for? What an assumption, as if I'm working for someone, perhaps because they work for someone, they assume that I work for someone. Very bad assumption and very erroneous assumption on that woman or, or male or female's part. Your condition of mind is on trial. Adverb, verb, adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. My condition of mind is on trial. Where's the trial? I never got invited to anything. <laughs> you are not very bright. Really? Says the guy or girl writing an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun protected by quotations. Adverb, verb, adverb, adjective, pronoun. Target now on your forehead. Really? Pronoun, adverb, verb, adverb, verb. If there's a target on my forehead, then those individuals who are taking aim must have a lot in common with, uh, in Star Wars, they have the Imperial Stormtroopers who couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Well, looks like these people have the same type of uh, skill with firearms. You will get what's coming to you. I certainly hope I do, at least what I think's coming to me. And guess what? You're going to get it too, buddy. You will get what's coming to you along with the other deceivers. Ooh. Adverb, adjective, pronoun. Adverb, adjective, pronoun. Adverb, verb, adverb, verb, adverb, verb. Military, hyphen, tribunal, ring a bell. Adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. Military tribunal ring a bell. Do military tribunals ring bells? I like the church bells that ring at like noon sometimes in my old hometown and sometimes at six o'clock they're very pretty. Is that what they're talking about? There are many of you. Adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. You've got S-H-I-T for brains. Adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. I find that many people who follow uh, Colin Russell, hyphen, J. Colin Gould share this type of colorful uh, vocabulary in that, you know, they, they cuss incessantly. Like, they, I don't know if they think it, you know, it's kind of like when you run into people and they use certain words to create an an aura about themselves like maybe they think they're tough guys or girls or something I don't know that they feel they need to ad hominem and insult people but to me that's a red flag and that tells me that that individual has fear in their heart for sure if you're going to be behaving in that way they're trying to put on some sort of facade I see it it's that's my experience in the last five years of doing this and also throughout my own life of dealing with bullies such as this individual, that they they ultimately have fear in their heart, I've found. And that's why they act the way they do. Lack of knowledge, basically. Lack of know-how. Whether it's lack of skill in, you know, physically being able to, to handle a physical altercation. Or knowledge, you know, correct sentence structure knowledge. Whichever. Enjoy your last days of freedom. Ooh. Remember, this was in January 2021. So I guess every day is my last day, isn't it? Pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. Wish it wasn't the case. Oh, really there? Hmm. That sounds real sincere, buddy. Pronoun, adverb, verb, adverb, verb. You're going to get what you deserve. I certainly hope I do. And you will as well. There's no doubt about it. We're all going to get what we deserve. <laughs> adverb, verb, adverb, future tense, adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. Pronoun, adverb, adjective, 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 pronoun, adverb, verb. 
May the Lord have mercy on your soul. Well, no thanks. Um, first invite the Lord up onto the geometric, geometric level playing field of contract. And then maybe we can talk. But until then, um, they can go fish up a tree as far as I'm concerned. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> Pronoun. Adverb in the future tense. Dangling participle verb. Quotation. And then we have final communication. Adjective pronoun followed by another um, quotation mark and then of course the name which I'm not going to pronounce which is quite obviously adjective pronoun so there you have it ladies and gentlemen this is actually much more fun going through it the second time around than the first time in January of 2021 because it's really quite amusing in hindsight um, thank goodness that it actually was this individual's final communication. Um, because, I mean, I was getting enough flack from all different sectors coming in saying, you know, a bunch of adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fictitious conveyance of grammar like this. Interestingly enough, ladies and gentlemen, one individual who never sent me an email like this is Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould. And I had been in contact with the man via email from 2017 until I think January of 2020. And never got any type of email like this, only from his devout cult like followers. For those of you out there wondering what camera I'm using for this particular portions of the video, yes, it is the forward facing camera, so it's a mirror. Um, yeah, it's the easiest way to do it for me right now. If you have any questions about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, or if you're interested in applying for the confidential video workshops I provide to those who qualify, feel free to contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Now, I do have um, a Weebly site that I'm still working on, but there's a lot of stuff on there that you can study. It's in the public. You can find that in, I think it's in the community section of my uh, YouTube. Or, actually, if you as soon as you click on the homepage of the YouTube, it should be in the lower starboard side corner of the, uh, the backdrop. There'll be a link there to Weebly. I think there's a link there to Coral Blade Grotto, my uh, WordPress site. And I think there's another link there, but I'm not sure what it's to. But the main stuff is here on YouTube. So you have my email address and you have this channel to study if you wish. And um, Happy New Year. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.